Welcome to Tantrum Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at a prototype of Thieves' Den. Den is a 2-5 player card drafting, worker placement, and set collection game. It was designed by Alice Davis and is published by Daily Magic Games. It will be on Kickstarter August 28th. This is set in the same world as 10-Minute Heist, a wizard's tower. In this game, players are master thieves sending out their crews to steal treasure and then sell them to fences or barter them for special powers. Whoever has the most points after three rounds wins. Let's look at the prototype components. There's a game board, player boards, direction tile, location cards, fence cards, and scheme cards, power tiles, thief tokens, score markers, and treasure tokens. The setup is fairly simple. You shuffle the location cards, shuffle the fences and reveal six, make three stacks of power tiles, and set out a certain number of treasures and thieves based on player count. These are limited resources. Players receive a random scheme card that shows which location icons they want to collect for endgame points, and they start with three thieves. Your board only has seats for six thieves and chests for eight treasures, so you'll have to keep that in mind during the game. The game is played over three rounds with three phases in each round. In the scouting phase, you'll draft location cards. In the thieving phase, you take your actions, and then in the cleanup phase, you prepare for the next round. During the scouting phase, each player begins with a hand of four location cards, chooses one to keep, and then passes the hand to the next player. The cards you choose are simultaneously revealed. The cards show a location type and either an immediate benefit or a place where a thief can go to activate an ability. If an opponent places a thief token on your card, you'll get the owner bonus shown on the top right. You'll draft three cards during this phase. Then comes the thieving phase where players take actions like recruiting more thieves, using power tiles, or sending their thieves to locations to gain treasure or fence their treasures. After all players have passed, you move to the cleanup phase. Any thieves on location cards in front of you move to your player board. Any treasures and thieves on fences or on spaces on the board go back to the supply. The player in last place flips the direction tile and begins the new round. We explained that pretty fast, but the meat of the game is that thieving phase where you're trying to collect the different treasure tokens to sell through the different fences, and that's where you're going to get most of your points. When you place a thief and the matching treasures on a fence card, you receive the number of points shown. At the end of the round, you claim the card. This is important because at the end of the game, points are awarded to the players who have the most icons of each type. The peddler and tinkerer icons are worth the most. You'll also get endgame points for each set of locations you have that match your scheme card, so you definitely want to keep that in mind as you draft during the scouting phase each round. This game is all about timing. Can I get those right treasure tokens before my opponents do to sell them to the different fences? Right. I remember one time where I had just gotten all the treasures that I needed for a certain fence, but before it got back to my turn, someone else swooped in and took that card. You also have to keep an eye on the supply of treasures and mm -hmm. thieves. Say there's only two blue treasure tokens left, then there's going to be a lot of fighting to try to get those. I like that there are spots on the board where you can play treasure tokens instead of thieves to take an action. Like the power up tiles, they can do things like switch location cards with another player, or replace three of the fence cards. This adds some versatility to the game and can keep you in the round a bit longer too. There are interesting decisions that you make throughout the game. Which cards do you draft? Do you go for ones that have the icons that match your scheme card? Or maybe you want locations with really good powers mm -hmm. and abilities so it entices other players to use your card so you get the owner bonus. Then there's also different ways to get treasures. What do you use? Because you only have a limited number of thieves and you need to have some to actually put on those fence cards. And you need thieves for the next round too. The art is great and fits right into Daily Magic's former game, 10 Minute Heist. I like all the fun expressions on the fence cards. I do hope that they make the icons on the fence cards a little easier to see. 
This game does have some player interaction. You can block each other and even take fence cards before someone else. But there are also abilities that let you steal treasures, thieves, and even location cards from other players. But what would you expect from a den of thieves? If you're looking for a worker placement card drafting game with some tight resource management and some set collection, then check out Thieves Den from Daily Magic Games on Kickstarter August 28th.